I literally just ended the last vlog and now I'm starting this new vlog. We had our first night in our new house last night and now it is like our first official day. Liam's already gone to work. Obviously life must go on. But for me, today is gonna look like grocery shopping, unpacking, organizing, rearranging. I need to do some work, obviously. <laughs> and I also have a lot of life admin stuff to do, like changing addresses and all of the stuff that comes along with that. So I'm already overwhelmed thinking of all the things I would ideally like to get done today. Like, like in my brain, I'm thinking by the end of today, I wanna have everything in its exact spot, everything organized down to a T, like perfect. And I just know that's not gonna happen, but I do wanna get everything mostly where it's gonna be because at the moment, like, there's baskets of things, there's boxes of things, and that is just, like, I hate walking into a room and there's just, like, stuff everywhere. Like, it's a bit overwhelming and I feel like I just feel stressed and I hate feeling stressed in my safe place, in my home. So we're just going to see how much we can get done today. But first stop, grocery shopping. Like, what is going on here? There's just tubs of things, books. Why are there books here? I literally have a whole room for books. I don't know. <sighs> I know that this is just what moving is, but I just, I don't like it. I don't, I mean, I like our new house, but that, the moving, the messy part, no. I also really need to work out what I need in terms of like storage or like organizational things and like go to Kmart and get them. I need to get some bathroom organizational stuff because our bathroom is just like completely different to what our old one was. Like our old one was just drawers. So I had a lot of like drawer organizers and this one is just cupboards. And I feel like obviously drawer organizers just don't work in cupboards. So I need to get like tubs or something. I guess we'll see. I'm trying to tell myself that I can just do it slowly because I'd rather do it slowly and properly compared to just rush it and get stuff that I don't actually need or like stuff that's not gonna work long term. But it's just a bit like, I just wanna get it all done now, you know? Grocery shopping done, now what? <laughs> you know when you have so many things you could do and you just like don't know which order to do them in? That's how I'm feeling. Breakfast, that, I should make breakfast. I definitely feel like I need this today. I'm exhausted and it's like 11 a.m. Let's go continue organizing. I'm looking for specific boxes that I know are somewhere, but I don't know where. Currently looking for my hangers. I know what the box looks like. Do I know where it is? No. Ah, where is it? I genuinely don't know where it is. I can't hang up my clothes without hangers. Where did I put it? I swear I looked everywhere. Oh. Guys, I found it. I remembered I put it in a cupboard, so now I can hang up these clothes. Good morning, guys. It is time to get ready for the day. I have unpacked some of my clothes and like organized my wardrobe like a decent amount but I also got this package from Petal and Puff like right before I moved and I've kind of just been like wearing things out of that because it's just easier and I wanted to give you guys a bit of a haul they are actually sponsoring this little part of the vlog so shout out Petal and Puff I absolutely love you guys I feel like if I'm ever in need of a dress specifically their dresses are incredible like if I have a wedding I'm almost always wearing a Petal and Puff dress or any sort of event like a hens or a birthday a baby shower anything like that like if I have a specific event I pretty much always go to Petal and Pup first and some of my most worn dresses that I have in my wardrobe are Petal and Pup they're just the best I also have a code for you guys if you want to save a little bit of money on your own order I'll put it on the screen for you guys and I think that'll save you 20% off including sale items which is just the best I love it when there's a code that also gets you money off sale items because it's like basically free at that point but let me show you I wore this dress yesterday and that is from Petal and Pup you guys saw me wearing this one I'm obsessed with that. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm thinking I might wear this little set today. It's this little like button up short and shirt set maybe. Let me see what else we have in here. I did get a few dresses specifically for like events that I have coming up. This is such a beautiful dress. I think I'm going to save this for a wedding that I have coming up. It's an autumn wedding and I feel like this is just so 
perfect i think this is honestly going to be one of my favorite dresses ever i think it's so beautiful also i don't know where i'm going to wear this one it is this long white maxi dress but look at the detail on the skirt portion it's baby doll style which is my absolute favorite i have a lot of baby doll kind of style shirts and dresses from petal and pop because i have a lot i have a baby shower this weekend and i'm thinking maybe i'll wear this dress it's a little strapless i kind of want to wear this today i'm really into just wearing dresses like very casually just like wearing them around the house and stuff but this just looks like one of those dresses that looks like you're really dressed up even though you put absolutely no effort into your outfit i'm obsessed with that so maybe i'll save that for the baby shower this weekend i also picked out this dress specifically i'm thinking i might wear this on easter because you can't tell me this doesn't give you like easter egg vibes <laughs> but in the best way possible so it's a pink maxi dress and it's one shoulder ties on the shoulder like i'm literally gonna look like an easter egg i cannot wait Oh, maybe I'll wear one of these today. I got this shirt in two different colors because as soon as I saw it, I was like, I need this. Look how gorgeous this is. It's got all of these like elasticated kind of like panels and then it ties at the back. So it's pretty much like open back, kind of like a deeper V, little puffy sleeves. And I also got it in pink. Oh, do I want to wear this today? I don't know. Which one should I wear? Tomorrow I'm going to the Gold Coast. Maybe this would be a good like over swimmers kind of outfit because I'm going to Lang's house for like a pool day. Maybe I'll wear this today with just some denim shorts or a little denim skirt those are all the items that i picked up from pedal and pop this time like i said i'm obsessed i feel like they just have so many pieces that are so perfectly my style i love anything frilly and girly and poofy and just like sweet they obviously have a lot of other styles as well i just pick the things that are my style but i feel like all of my pedal and pop stuff just makes me feel really pretty anyway huge thank you to pedal and pop for sponsoring this little portion of the vlog i'm gonna get myself ready for the day now i always feel so much more productive when I like put on a cute outfit and like get myself ready. So let's do that. Here's the outfit that I went with, the cute little pink top and a little skirt. But look at the back of this top, guys. How cute is this? I'm obsessed. I'm so glad that I got it in pink and white because I just think it's so cutie. Plans for today, it is 8.30 at the moment. I think what I wanna do is go to Kmart because there's a bunch of like random things that I wanna pick up. I feel like when you move, that's just like a classic thing where it's like, oh, we need this random storage thing. We need this random laundry thing. We need whatever. So I wanna go to Kmart and do a bit of a bit of a stroll, walk around, see what I need. And I also need to pick up a baby shower gift. So I think I'll go to the shops, then I'll come home and do some work and then I'll continue doing some unpacking because the upstairs rooms still need a lot of work. Our bedroom is almost done I think. Obviously not like completely styled and like perfect but as in like unpacked and organized it's almost done. The office is almost done I'll also show you that later and then my library room nothing is done in there. It's an absolute mess. I would also love to do some reading today because I feel like I have really not had a chance to read for like a week. I did end up listening to Mile High as an audiobook while I was unpacking. So I finished that, which was exciting, but I've got so many other books that I want to get to this month. And right now I'm reading for like 20 minutes before bed and that's it. So we'd love to try and kind of get back into a normal routine, but let's head to Kmart. <laughs> show you what I picked up. Honestly, a lot of like boring stuff that was just necessary. There's a lot of stuff that I'm like, oh, I don't know if we need this or not yet. So I decided to just like wait till I know for like organizational tubs and a few other things. I'm like, I wanna get a new shoe rack, but I'm like, can we just use something we already have? So I'm trying to just like make sure we've utilized all the storage that we already have, all the tubs we already have, all of the things we already have before I go out and get anything that I'm like not sure if we need. But one of the things I did get is this like under the sink bin. Liam and I want to try this and see if this just like works for us. With the layout of this kitchen, it would just make a lot more sense to have a bin under the sink. So hopefully that fits. 
Did I measure it? No. Am I just going to wing it? Yes. What's great about Kmart is you can just take it back and return it if it doesn't work. So that's fine. And then in our new house here, we have an extra bathroom. So I needed to get a toilet brush, a little bin, and I also got this like toilet roll holder, little canister type thing. So that's all for our extra bathroom. I just went with black because I was like, I don't really know what the vibes are, but it's also literally just a toilet. Like it doesn't need to be crazy cute in my opinion. Like I don't care enough. I'd rather invest in other parts of the house. I also got us some new little bathroom things. So I thought I would use this for Liam and I's bathroom. So right now we just have like a soap dispenser that you would just get from like Woolworths. And I thought, you know what, let's do a little upgrade. So I have this little green tray, little gold and green hand soap, and then this one for our toothbrushes. I just thought it was so cute. Like I'm obsessed, so. Hopefully Liam likes it because I didn't ask. I don't think he cares. That's the thing. He just like doesn't care about home stuff like this. Like every time I ask him, he's like, I don't really mind. Just like do whatever you want to do. And I'm like, say less King. Like say less. I will do whatever I want to do. Thank you so much. I also just picked up an extra hand towel for the extra bathroom because I don't know. I also just got sucked in because it was pink and I was like, oh, it's kind of cute. I probably didn't need that one. Another not really essential purchase. I bought some fake Burks. These are like the Boston Burks. I was so unsure about them for so long. But recently I'm like, no, I think I'm gonna live in these in winter when I just want like a slip on shoe to wear with my socks. Last year I wore my like fake Uggs a lot during winter, but I think I just want something that's like slightly more socially acceptable than slippers. I feel like Uggs really aren't that bad. I don't know. I just have been seeing these and I've been thinking about them nonstop. So I was like, you know what? I'll just get them. And then the last things I got for the house are just a bunch of command hooks to hang up random things. I feel like these are just good to have. So I just got a few packs of those. And then random stuff that's not house related. I went and picked up a baby shower gift. I went to Adair's Kids because the friend that I'm getting this gift for had some stuff on her registry from Adair's. So I got some stuff from there. And then I also got, they're doing like books instead of cards, which I feel like is pretty common at baby showers now. And I love that. I think it's so sweet. And so I got this little book. It's called Little Pink. Pip and the Rainbow Wish and I read it in the store and it was so stinking cute. Like why are kids books just so cute nowadays? Like they're just so sweet. And then I also have another baby shower in a couple of weeks. So I picked up two baby shower cards. I haven't got the other gift yet because I didn't have what I wanted to get in store. So I'll have to order it online, which is fine because I have like a few more weeks. And I got a gift bag for that stuff. And then lastly, it's Bestie. Well, it was Bestie Lang's birthday the other day, but we're having her birthday celebration tomorrow. Tomorrow, so I just needed to get a box to put her gifts in. We have the gifts. We just needed something to put the gifts in. So I also got some cellophane and some shredded paper to make it like look really cute. And then I saw this card and I was like, no, this is too funny. Like I need to get it for Lang because it kind of just, it just made me laugh and I hope it makes her laugh. Look at this. Like, why is this so funny? I'm obsessed with it. It's so cute. It says, happy birthday. With that fun personality, you're one lovable little princess. And I just, I couldn't pass this up, so. Really quality purchase is happening today. I just finished wrapping and like putting together Lang's little gift basket. I feel like it turned out so cute and so fun. I still can't get over this card. I think it's so funny. And I also crocheted her a pickle. Guys, I swear I'm gonna end up with like actual huge leg muscles from climbing up the stairs 20 million times a day. Does anyone with stairs feel that way? Because I didn't used to have stairs and this is just a whole new ballpark for me. The day after we moved, I was like, I genuinely feel like I've just worked out. I think purely just because I'd walked up the stairs that many times, like my quads. So so <laughs> this is crazy. I decided to take myself on a little breakfast date this morning. Like not a week goes by that I don't think about this specific breakfast or like crave it. So I knew that I was gonna come down to the Gold Coast today to have a little girls day with the besties, but I decided to drive down a little bit earlier, take myself out for breakfast, have a little solo date, and then go hang out with the girls. So I got to the cafe at just after seven and it's now 9.30 and I've just been sitting there like reading my book and like, hanging out and it's just been the perfect morning. I definitely need to do this more often. I had such a great time. And guys, I could literally cry, but 
when my breakfast came out. I don't know exactly who did this, but someone that works at this cafe left me a little note saying congrats on the new house, and it literally made my day. It's literally the cutest thing ever, so I've <laughs> held on to it because I'm like, this is so cute. Anyway, I'm going to drive over to Lang's place now. We're going to have a bit of a pool day. We get to celebrate her birthday today. I'm so excited to see the girls. I feel like I haven't seen them in so long. We haven't been together since the Eras tour, obviously. It's just been a busy time, but I miss them. So I'm excited to spend some quality time with them today. Wow! <laughs> 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 oh my god! <gasps> my little top! Yummy! <laughs> Guys, stop! Okay, it's my turn to pick our next book club book, and I didn't know what, what I wanted, so I wrote down five options and we're gonna see what we're not picking. And then the last one is what we're picking. Yeah. Is so there one that you are hoping for? No. <laughs> and there's like a few different genres in there, so. Okay, so we're not reading One Dark Window. Oh. Adult fantasy. We are not reading good material. Oh. That's a high That's a good one. Awesome. We're not reading The Storied Life of AJ Fickery. Oh, oh tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, and we are not reading The Cruel Prince. Oh. Mm -hmm. So we are reading <laughs> Finley Donovan is Killing It, which is a cozy oh. mystery. Oh. Oh. It's now Sunday. I didn't vlog at all yesterday. We just went back to the old house and spent the whole morning cleaning. And then I had a baby shower in the afternoon. And then I literally came home, ate dinner, went to bed. I have been watching a new TV show recently. I've been watching The Traitors on Ten Play. I heard JC and Chelsea talking about it on their podcast, What We Said, and it just sounded really interesting. So I was like, I'm just going to give this a go and see because I love reality TV. I don't watch a crazy amount of TV, but if I am watching TV, it's reality TV. I love Survivor. I've been watching Maths. This season has been really good. I sometimes watch Love is Blind, and then I sometimes watch Love Island. Those are like the shows that I usually watch. But I was like, let's try out this whole Traders thing. And it's really interesting. I don't think it's like my favorite ever, but I am enjoying it. It's kind of like a giant game of mafia, like professional level. And it's so much fun. Anyway, I wanted to give you house updates because I feel like the house is looking very different to last time I like showed you. At least the upstairs because I haven't showed you what it looks like at all. Downstairs looks pretty much exactly the same. But let me give you a little bit of a house update. We moved on Tuesday. It's now Sunday. So like five days five days in. Who knows if anything is final. Maybe we'll change things. Maybe we won't. I don't really know. So this is just like our old stuff in the new place without like updating anything, which honestly I don't plan on updating that much. Maybe a few new pieces here and there, but I'm just going to stop randomly and show you. So our bedroom. This is what it looks like when you walk in. So this is the situation at the moment. Ignore the laundry that I need to put away, but the bed is just the exact same. It's pretty much honestly the exact same layout as our old room because it just fit the same way. So we were like slay we'll just keep it the same bonnie on the bed there but yeah not really much to say about this at all this is our bathroom there's not a lot going on in here either i do have our new little pieces that i got from kmart i have my toothbrush over here liam and i both have our own vanity which is crazy we've never had that before that's very exciting so this is my side and that's his side and then we have these little shelves i haven't really done much to them yet i've just put some perfume up there and just those things there. Maybe I'll get like a plant or a fake plant to go up there. I don't know. But that's like all that's in here. Nothing much going on. I feel like our wardrobe is probably like mostly organized. I'll show you. I have moved some stuff around in here. So this is what it looks like on my side. Liam's side is down there. I have my heels in my boxes up there that I just had in the last place and I also have some handbags stacked on top there. I also have some handbags here and these are like my most reached for bags at the moment so I kept them a bit lower but then ones that I have, I don't know, when I have like a specific color that I want to wear or whatever are just up there. I might end up moving them because obviously they're not super accessible and I think I might be able to fit them just like along here because Liam hasn't put anything up there so I might be able to use that space but we'll see. Then I have these tubs that I had at the previous house. I have belts in here. I have like toiletry bags and like packing cubes and just like a little organizational kind of traveling bags in here. This one is hats and caps and then this one is socks. Then I just have like bras and underwear in here. I have all of my swimmers in here and then I don't think I have anything in these ones right now so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna 
do with those. And then all I've done for the hanging space is just have my shirts and then dresses and then shorts and t-shirts behind them as well. So that's all that's going on there. I could probably add my activewear in here maybe, but I kind of prefer having my activewear hanging up. I find it easier to like see, but I don't have as much hanging space in this house compared to the last one, but I have a lot more drawer space. Like we have our drawers over here and I have nothing in these drawers currently. I'm not sure what I want to put in there. Maybe like, I don't know, I could put activewear, I could put pajamas. I don't know. We also have this storage, which is our linen cupboard, but I'm using it to store our linen and all of my hosting stuff. I love to host, so I have collected a lot of things to host with. And the way I've organized like the linen side of things, I keep all of our extra towels in the bathrooms. So all of the guest towels are in the guest bathroom, all of our towels are in our bathroom, like under the sink on the shelving. So the only thing we really needed to use a linen cupboard for is like bed linen and then another shelf for beach towels. And then the rest of it I can use for hosting, which is gorgeous. Like why not utilize the space that you have, even if it's not what it's intended for, you know? So I'll show you what the hosting cupboard looks like. Cause I feel like that's pretty satisfying. I wouldn't say it's like the most perfectly organized thing in the world, but, but I'm definitely very happy with it at its current state. So there are two sides. That's the linen side. This is the hosting side, but this is what it is looking like currently. Like I said, it's not like the most aesthetic thing, but it is very practical. So I have some of my bigger vases at the top, and then I just have some of the smaller bud vases here. Glassware, glassware, china, cutlery, random things like cocktail shakers and stuff that I don't use very often, and then dinnerware. Stunning. This is so helpful to have this space. Then we have two more bedrooms, and one of them we're using as a combined office, so Liam and I are sharing an office, and the other one we're using as the library room slash guest bedroom. So this is what the office is looking like currently. So this is what it looks like. We've got Liam's side over here. I don't want to like show all of his like stuff on his desk, but this is my side. Oh. Let's fix this. It's not the most aesthetic thing in the world, but it's practical. And I definitely want to, you know, like hang up some stuff, maybe put some shelving in there. I'm not exactly sure. We also have this bookshelf, but honestly, again, I think it's going to be more like practical stuff. So we have my printer and then Liam's printer. I don't know why we have two printers, guys. And then the wardrobe in this room is honestly just like documents, filing stuff, stationery kind of stuff. What else have I even got in here? I think I have my scrapbooking stuff in here. Yeah, like notebooks, batteries, chargers. It's not very fun in here, but this room is not gonna be the cutest and that's okay. Like it, it was never the plan to be super, super cute. And then we have the library room slash guest bedroom. This is the one room that really just has not been touched. Like there is nothing done in here. I think I'm gonna make a dedicated video of me kind of decorating this room and organizing it and doing everything that comes along with that. Right now it just looks like, yes, it is terrifying. Like. That is so overwhelming. I don't even want to look at it <laughs> at the moment. And the plan for this room is just a lot of bookshelves and also hopefully I want to get a sofa bed. I've heard very good things about the koala one, so I'm gonna have a look into that. I have a few friends who have it and they absolutely love it. But we had a guest bedroom in our last house and I think it got used like three times or something. Like we just do not have that many guests and that's okay, but I just don't want to use a room as a guest bedroom if we don't have guests very often. So I would rather use it as like a library room which I know for sure that I will use all the time and I can film in here and obviously do anything <laughs> book related in here and just make it into my own space and make it very like fun and bookish and girly and colorful but it's still usable as a guest bedroom space if we do have guests that's the plan like I said probably will be a whole video dedicated on this because nothing is done yet and I think that would be a fun video to create and a fun video for you guys to watch also very satisfying seeing me set up all the bookshelves I need to get some more bookshelves because we all know that mine are completely full so I mean right now they're not they're very empty indeed but once I organize them they will be full but that is a little house update there's nothing I don't think there's anything else I've done a lot of organizing in the garage and stuff but that's like not very interesting like organizing our suitcases and our toolkits and our cleaning products, you know? But downstairs is pretty much exactly the same as what I showed in my previous video. So if you want to see what downstairs looks like, you can just watch that video. I'll obviously update you guys as things change, but I think apart from <laughs> the library room, which is just like not set up at all, everything's kind of like done, which I'm very, very happy about. Like I said, 
definitely going to be updates. I definitely want to hang things on the walls and like do lots of things in terms of like decor and making it feel cozy and making it feel like ours. But as for just like moving stuff in and having a home for everything, we're pretty much done with that, which is just stunning. I just had no idea how long that was going to take and it honestly didn't take too, too long. And I'm just obsessed with how the house is turning out so far and just like the space that we have and the location that we're in i'm just loving it so far so i think i'm gonna end off the vlog here because it's sunday and i'm gonna edit this vlog and then get ready for church go to church come home watch survivor that's my plans for the rest of the day but i hope you guys enjoyed spending the first few days in our new house with us and i'm sure i'll be starting another vlog very soon but i love you guys so much and i hope you have the best week ever goodbye